Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge, and welcome to week five of School Lunch Inspiration. So if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Jennifer, and each week I like to share a bunch of lunch ideas. Now last week I shared so many Halloween lunch ideas, and if you'd like to check that out, you can go ahead and click the link above. If you haven't already subscribed to The Family Fudge, you can do that by hitting the red subscribe button. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like school lunch videos. Now let's get started. Good morning guys and happy Monday. Right now I have all the kids staring at me. They all wanted to say hi in today's video. So say hi. 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 What do you think about your lunch today? It yeah. was spooky. Yeah. yeah. So Mondays are our unofficial PB and J day. So today I dressed it up a little bit by making these peanut butter and jelly bagel monsters. <laughs> For our sandwiches today, I'm using some bagel thin. Stop laughing! Stop laughing, I'm trying to talk. For our sandwiches today, I'm using some bagel thin bread. Now sometimes this can be hard to find at grocery stores, but I almost always find it at Target, so check there. So I took my bagel thins, I put peanut butter on one side and jelly on the other, and then put them together. Then I use these really fun vampire teeth to stick in the center of the sandwich. Now these are meant to go in kids' mouths, so I'm gonna assume that it's okay to touch their food as well, and it makes it look really fun. What do you guys think? Good. Good. Yeah. And the picks also help keep the sandwich together so it's not flopping around in the lunchbox. Now it almost wasn't PB&J day today because I needed to open this brand new jar of jam, and I could not get it open. It would not budge. It was so tight, but I really put my muscle into it and finally got it open. So yay, it's peanut butter and jelly day. So with our sandwiches today, I'm also sending some applesauce, but this is actually a berry applesauce that I get from Trader Joe's, and I also have some raw broccoli and some ranch dip. Oh yes, and I'm also sending some more little ghost string cheeses, and you can probably tell that I need a new Sharpie marker because it didn't write on there super well, but that's okay. Now for snack today, I have something really fun. I'm sending these little bags of pretzels. These are Halloween pretzels in the shape of bats and jacks. And I've seen these at Walmart, I've seen these at Target. They're pretty easy to find. But with the pretzels, I'm also sending some Nutella for the kids to dip into. That sounds really good. Now this is just about a teaspoon of Nutella, so it's not very much, and hopefully it won't be messy. Are you guys gonna make a mess? No. Make a mess, make sure you put the lid on tight. All right, so let's pack this up and we can head out the door. Okay. Okay, let's see how they did. Here's Mackenzie's and Jackson's and Lily's. I got Mackenzie right over here. How was it, Mackenzie? It was very good. What was your favorite part? The Nutella and the pretzels. It looks like you ate everything. You have a little bit of ranch left, but that's it. So that's pretty good. And Jackson, let's see, he ate everything. It looks like, yeah, he ate everything. That's amazing. And then Lily, I can tell she did not eat everything. Let's see, she's got a little bit of her sandwich, a little bit of her pretzels, one, oh, two pieces of broccoli. So she left a little bit of everything. But the Nutella is gone. She definitely ate that. That's the so, number one favorite. The number one favorite, yeah. I love Nutella too. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. Now today my older two kids are attending Halloween parties at their school, so I'm sending extra special but easy lunches. First off, I have some diced mango in pineapple juice. Now you can do this cute little jack-o'-lantern on any orange fruit that you'd like, but I really like the diced mango and I especially like that it's in 100% pineapple juice because with today's lunch, I'm also doing something really fun. I'm sending the silly straw. So the kids can use a silly straw with their juice, but they can also use their straw to poke through their fruit cup and then drink the pineapple juice just like that. Isn't that fun? Now I wouldn't recommend doing this if your fruit is in heavy syrup, but if yours is in juice, go for it. Now also with today's lunch, I'm sending these little pizza cheese sticks. But this is actually just a focaccia bread that I got from the store and I cubed it up. Then I took a little plastic pick. I put some cut up string cheese and cubes of the focaccia bread. Now to go along with our bread and cheese, I am including a little bit of marinara sauce for dipping. 
For our vegetable today, I have some sugar snap peas. My kids recently tried these for the first time and they really like them, so that is awesome. Now to go along with the snap peas, I am sending some salad dressing, but it's not ranch. Shocker, I know. I'm actually sending my favorite salad dressing, which is the deep roasted sesame. This is a Japanese salad dressing and I love it. And the kids now love it too. So, there we go. So like I said, I am sending the juice and for one little treat, I am sending this Halloween granola bar. It's pretty small, but the kids really enjoy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on everything, pack it up, and then we'll be out the door. Okay guys, so here's what we're left with. Overall, pretty good. Now I do have to say the kids were not fans of the marinara sauce. So it looks like nobody ate any of it at all, but they did eat everything else except for Jackson. He left a few little sugar snap peas, and the straws were a big hit, although I did have to help Lily poke hers into her fruit. It was a little bit hard for her, but overall, I'd say today was a win. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Wednesday. Now, just like normal, we are eating lunch at home today, so I just whipped up these ham and cheese roll-ups. Let me show you how I made them. I started with some crescent dough that's actually in a sheet, so it's really easy to just roll it out. Now, if you do have any holes, you just wanna pinch them back together. Then I took some everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's and I sprinkled it all over my dough. Now this has salt and garlic and onions, it is so good. Then I just laid down some honey ham and some cheddar cheese. Then I rolled it up. Now this is actually really easy, your kids could even help you do this. Next I just sliced them and placed them on a baking sheet. And these only take about 10 minutes in the oven. Super quick and easy. Now to go with our ham and cheese roll-ups today, I'm also serving a spinach salad. Now surprisingly, most of my kids like spinach salad, so we'll see how this goes today. I am serving that with a little bit of my homemade ranch. I'm also serving a yogurt. This is actually the mango and cream yogurt from Trader Joe's. And then I just have some slices of apple. I just take one big apple, take the core out, and then I use my mandolin slicer to slice them really thin. That's how my kids prefer them. Now today I'm also serving a treat. We have some little fruit snacks here. And the idea is if they eat all of their salad, then they can have their fruit snacks. So definitely some incentives to eat their veggies. So here's what we're left with. Overall, the kids really like the ham and cheese roll-ups. Looks like Mackenzie did really good. She ate all of her salad, all of her yogurt, but she told me she was not a fan of the apples because they turn brown. So next time I'll tell her to eat those first. Jackson just left a little bit of his salad. And Lily, just a few leaves left in there and a few bites of apple and maybe one or two bites of yogurt. So overall, pretty good. Hi guys and happy Thursday. Here's what I'm packing today. I'm starting off with some really fun tortilla chips. Now it's kind of hard to tell but these are actually supposed to be pumpkin, ghost, and bat-shaped tortilla chips. And I just found these at the grocery store. Now to go along with that, I've created some really yummy bean dip. I just took some black beans, added salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of lime juice, and mixed it up. And then on top of the black beans, I have a scoop of guacamole. And then I tried to make a spider web out of some sour cream. It didn't turn out perfect, but I think it's gonna be really tasty. I think the kids are going to love it. Now to go along with that, I'm packing some sugar snap peas. We just have a few left from our big Costco bag, so I'm trying to use them up in these little containers. Of course, I have my ranch. And then over here, I have something new. These are actually freeze-dried peach slices. So they look just like this. It's like an all-natural, no sugar added, um, freeze-dried peach. So the kids like the apple version, so hopefully they'll like the peach version. Now I'm also packing some simple go-gurts today and some juice. This is the goodness grapeness. And then for snack today, I'm just sending a blueberry fig bar. Okay, so here's what they actually ate. Mackenzie did really well and so did Jackson. I noticed that each of them only ate one of their fig bars, so I think next time I'll only give them one because these little packs have two. Next time I'll definitely split them up Lily didn't eat hers at all, but it's only about one o'clock right now, so she might have this 
around three. And then Lily just has a little bit of bean dip left. She didn't finish all of it, but overall they did really well today. Good morning friends and happy Friday. Now today I'm packing something a little bit different, never tried this before. In the thermos today I actually have some pumpkin spice oatmeal. I think the kids are going to love this. This is actually really good pumpkin oatmeal. It doesn't have a lot of sugar in it at all. I just put that in the thermos. Now to go along with that I also have one hard boiled egg, some celery, a grape juice, and then I'm also packing these really cute little peanut butter to go cups. I think this will be perfect for dipping the celery in. And then also I have a spoon for the oatmeal. And then lastly, I'm sending these mini cookies. These are a snickerdoodle cookie. So we're gonna head out the door and when we get back, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, so we're finally back home, but it is almost five o'clock. I cannot believe it. So here is Mackenzie's, here's Jackson's, and Lily's. So Mackenzie, how did it go today? It was very good. It was very good. It looks like you just left a little bit of celery. And how did your oatmeal go? It was very good. Oh, it's all gone. Uh, was it warm? Yeah, it was yep. very good. And you ate your peanut butter, and you ate your egg. Very good. My, the eggs were my favorite. The eggs were? Oh, good. Okay, so let's see how Jackson did. He ate all of his oatmeal, that's excellent. And it looks like he just has a little bit of peanut butter and one egg, half of an egg. So, yeah, I don't know that I would, I would eat it now. Okay, and Lily has a little bit of celery and a partial egg. So next time I might give them half of an egg each. Yeah, not, not give them a whole one. Now I'll have three whole ones. <laughs> and then Lily also ate all of her oatmeal. That is amazing. But this oatmeal smells really good. This looks like tasty oatmeal. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now if you'd like to see even more school lunch inspiration, you can click on the link right up here. And to see more videos from me, you can click on the link down there. To subscribe to The Family Fudge, make sure to hit my face right there. And if you want more information about the products that I use today, there'll be a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.